Eddie Murphy of travel blogging, expat relocation, and teaching you how to keep your teeth clean. We are in Doris, Albania. It is a beautiful city, cloudy day. The weather is a lot warmer than in Tirana. We're gonna go see what Doris has to offer. We're gonna go check out the Coliseum. We're gonna go see the Vila up on the hill. We're gonna see the old town during the day and we're gonna bring you guys tons of content. I hope you enjoy. Sorry, I already started eating it. Pretty fucking hungry. And this is the grilled cheese. So this is like cheese with tomato. What kind of cheese is it, Jay? Um, usually it's like a white cheese, and they'll cook it with like olive oil. And like some, Albanian cheese. Some yeah, like a, like a local cheese, like cool. something you you know you would see at the markets here. But they cook it in like an oven, and they put some you know they put some good uh, good little fixins on there. Well, the omelet's pretty fucking good. So yeah, let's see up. how the grilled cheese is. All right, you gonna you gonna get in on that? Let's see. All right, yo, so we're gonna try the grilled cheese. Mm. What do you think? Now that's really good. I've had this in other places. Sometimes it's chewy and more like a, the way like a melted cheddar would be. This one's more fatty and like breaks up and it's soft. But it's cooked in like a tomato sauce. There's obviously big pieces of tomato. They put some pepper in here. Mm. This is one of my, most people call, told me, what is it called? Like a village cheese or something like that? Or, But here they called it grilled cheese. So that's fine. But it's the same, basically the same in a lot of Albania. They make it different ways. It's really good though. I like it a lot. So Jay, how was breakfast? Yo, your boy put in work. No, it was cool. It was all right. I like this place. I would recommend it if you're in the neighborhood. Come check this out. It's nice. We'll post it in the description below. Show you show you the spot. I feel comfortable recommending them to people. The Airbnb was good. The only complaint I have is the water pressure in the shower was freaking terrible. And another thing that was a little bit weird is I usually go through an Airbnb host. I'll talk to them and try to get them to arrange a cab for me. And almost always I get a very good price when I do that, right? This one lady, she came back with a price that's higher than all the camp companies, so that kind of makes me a little... Yeah, but maybe she don't know nobody. She might not know, but it's, <clears throat> I don't know, it's hard to say, man. It's just hard to say, because I called up a couple different places, and every place I contacted was cheaper than the price that the host was quoting me, so that makes me think, I don't know. I don't want to judge them and, and say for sure, but a little weird. And like I said, the water pressure was garbage, the apartment was kind of cold, but the view was bananas, and the space, like, yeah. God, in the summer, the heat, it wouldn't even matter if it would be warm.
Yo, what's up guys? We're at the Archaeology Museum and this is a super ancient place so I'm really excited to check it out. We're gonna see if they let us film inside. I have no idea if they do or they don't. But look at this crazy building. This building is insane. It's like something out of like, like what I would imagine your stereotypical like communist brutalist architecture would look like. So the museum is open from Tuesday to Saturday, 9 to 4 p.m. And Sunday, 9 to 2. Yo, what's up with it guys? So it is really cold inside there. It's so much warmer out here right now. It is. But man, that is an insane museum. There's things from like prehistory, like prehistoric axes, all the way through like the Illyrian and Greek periods into the Roman I period. I can't believe it, it said first century. I can't believe it. Even before the first, they had seventh century BC. Wow. 8,000 years. Those were the stone tools in the beginning where, yeah. where they had like the- Oh, the small, small ones. Yeah, where they had the ax, like the blade of an ax without the handle, obviously, yeah, yeah. you know? So this place is nuts, guys. And like, it, this will really give Duras a lot of perspective for you on just how incredibly ancient this place is. Um, 100%, it really doesn't take more than an hour to come see it and you know, you, you know, if you want to really take time photographing it, like an hour and a half to two hours. So 100% make time to do this. It's, it's absolutely an incredible experience to just see the, the sheer amount of humanity, like of how much life has passed through this place, like, and how many civilizations. So amazing. And like who they traded with, you know? It's just, yeah, they traded with like what kind of, what were their customs? what cults they believed in. There's all these icons to, to cults, uh, like the cult of Artemis, absolutely worth your time. Come check this out, guys. Very interesting. And it's like two minutes from where we were staying over by the old town. Yo, look at this guys, this is actually insane, man. It's like a quiet residential neighborhood and in the middle is a giant Roman amphitheater, like right in the middle. And look, you can see kind of the old town kind of backed up that way towards the center. And then you have these like villa kind of quiet residential houses that are just behind it. It's, it's actually quite a surreal experience. Um, I really, really recommend this. Look, I mean, we're standing at a Roman amphitheater and there is like no tourists. There's like two dudes walking around down there. That's it, and us. We have this completely to ourselves. But we're gonna go hit the villa first and then we're gonna see this on the way back down. So we're gonna show you guys the villa and the walk up. Hopefully you enjoy.
guys what's going on so we just finished checking out Duras the amphitheater unfortunately was closed I don't know why they said it closed at 5 but who knows we still got a lot of photos and stuff from it so it's pretty cool and uh, Duras is super interesting we saw a lot of street art there's a lot of history here definitely come check it out So Jay, what did you think of like the amphitheater and like everything you saw today? So the amphitheater was closed, which kind of sucks because I would have liked to have explored it, but I got some great shots from around it. Absolutely beautiful, tucked into a residential neighborhood. Yeah, I was a little disappointed that it was closed too. People walking by this like ancient amphitheater as if it's just normal and the side streets have street art everywhere. It's a completely beautiful city. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Someone's house was like built into it. Yeah, and the city wall is incredible because it snakes through the neighborhoods and they'll just be an apartment building or a house just built right into the city wall. Um, absolutely interesting city. You should definitely come check it out. The food is fantastic. It's cheaper than Tirana. Um, the coast is beautiful. Um, very nice place overall. I have nothing but positive things to say so far about Duras and I would absolutely live here. And if you were a digital nomad, it actually makes a lot of sense because you're not far from the airport or from Tirana. <clears throat> but this is the night and day better quality of life. What did you think? So I was pretty impressed. Last night we sat on the, there's like the steps going up to a pier kind of lookout thing. And we were just sitting there looking at the sky and I saw a shooting star, fucking awesome. So you can definitely see the stars here on a clear night. Um, today it was a little bit more cloudy. It's definitely warmer here and a bit more humid, which I like. So I don't know, it's pretty awesome. What do you think of when you think of Albania? I think of opportunity. I think of a country that's open. I think of a country that wants long stay expats, that wants people to come and invest, wants new ideas, and is looking towards the West. I think that Albania is a beautiful country with incredible landscapes that can offer a very comfortable lifestyle at a very reasonable price. We at the White Monkey Syndicate will help navigate your journey to becoming an expat in Albania. We're working with some of the top lawyers in the city. We can help establish businesses. We can help you get your residency. We can help you get real estate. We can arrange almost any contact that you might need for the process of moving here in almost any city in the country. We will simplify the process. We'll make it a lot easier for you to move to a country that maybe in the past would have been more of a challenge. With our help, it's gonna be a walk in the park.